Emotional testimony today from a man who was just feet away from the cinematographer shot and killed on the Santa Fe film set of the movie Rust. That witness also described several accidental gun discharges in the Rust production as that trial against Hannah Gutierrez continues. Here's News 13's Marilyn Upchurch. A dolly grip who worked cameras on the set of Rust. Instantly, I mean, a, a firearm went off in a small wooden church, so... The concussion, ears ringing, that moment of panic in everybody. Um, I think the first person I made eye contact with was, was Helena. Ross Adiego testified today about seeing cinematographer Helena Hutchins shot to death on the Bonanza Creek Ranch film set in October 2021. What I uh, observed was they were trying to... Um, uh, stabilize her. I heard them call for a, a life light, so they were trying to stable, <laughs> stabilize her to get her in a helicopter. The shooting is at the center of the involuntary manslaughter trial against the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez. Prosecutors claim she disregarded safety practices that eventually led to the onset shooting. On the set of Rust, how frequently did safety meetings occur? I don't know that I was invited to more than one. A Diego described Gutierrez quickly loading weapons and several accidental discharges on set. He also claimed Gutierrez left weapons unsecure. She wasn't necessarily as uh, serious or professional as I'm accustomed to with the other armors. Gutierrez's defense claims she split her duties between weapons and other props and that she didn't have authority to call safety meetings, blaming assistant director David Halls. It's his responsibility to convene the safety meetings you testified to, right? Typically it is, yes. Marilyn Upchurch, Care QE, News 13. Several FBI investigators also took the stand today with one expert explaining he was able to get the gun that Alec Baldwin was handling to accidentally discharge only by breaking that firearm. Baldwin has stated in the past that he did not pull the trigger.